Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Try to be on familiar terms with the breath. The Buddha says you want to find good friends. It's an important part of the practice. And so make the breath your friend. Become friends with the breath. It can do all kinds of things for you, if you get to know it. But as with any friendship, it takes time. As the Buddha said, if you want to know somebody, you have to spend a lot of time with them. And see them in different situations to see what kind of endurance they have, what kind of wisdom they have, what kind of purity they have. And it's the same principle of the breath. If you really want to know what the breath can do for you, what its good qualities are, you have to watch it over time. You can look at the breath for years and learn, keep on learning new things about it. But after a while, you begin to get a sense of it, even if you don't know everything about the breath. But you learn a lot of good things about it. It's a good place for the mind to stay. Because we live in this world where it's very difficult to find anything that's really secure, anything that's really solid. So we have to find something solid inside. And the breath is always there, even though it's coming in, going out. The fact that it's with the body, it's one of the elements of the body. It means as long as you're alive, you're going to be with the breath. You can be with the breath. So take advantage of it, of the elements of the body. It's the one that you have the most control over. So get to know it well. Be on good terms with it, and you'll be surprised at all the good things it can do for you. It can provide you with a good, comfortable place to stay when you're in pain. A good, solid place to stay when the world around you is changing fast. Something soothing when you need to be soothed, energizing when you need to be energized. It's a really good friend. So take the time to get to know it well.